Okay, so the math dealer here, and today I'm going to do a quick little video, hope it's quick, on percents. All right, so let's first, I want you to first take a look over here at my cute little triangle, all right? This is kind of a little bit of a, I don't know, a template that I like to use when I'm thinking about working with decimals and percents and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so how does this thing work, all right? So basically, the number that represents the part goes in this top triangle. The number that represents a whole goes in the bottom right. And the number that is the percent will always go down here in the bottom left. You will have two of these three, okay? So you're going to basically be filling in either one, two of these, maybe part and whole or part and percent or maybe percent and whole, okay? Now, once you place the numbers in these spots, we basically take the idea that we're going to multiply if the numbers come side by side. So if the two numbers are written side by side, I'm going to multiply these two together. If the numbers are written top and bottom, I'm going to divide them, okay? So how does this whole thing work? Well, I want to take a look at this first problem over here, okay? So I'm going to set up my cute little triangle. All righty, here we go. So I'm saying 75%. Now notice what I wrote here. 75% must be written as a decimal. I think what messes students up is that they forget that they got to kick that guy two places to the left. Because remember, to go from des um, percent to decimal, you basically are dividing by 100, okay? So you take the decimal and you move it two places to the left. All right, so we got that going for us. So when I take 75% and write it there, you get that. Now, of 180, 180 is my whole. And like I said, the numbers are side by side. You multiply them together. So you take 0. 0.75 times 180. And when you do that, you pretty much get 135, okay? One thing also to note here is that 0.75 can also be written as 3 fourths, all right? So you actually could go 3 fourths times 180. If you don't have a calculator, right? And this becomes 45, and then lo and behold, you get that. Okay, nice little fun fact. All right, so now let's look at this number down here, okay? So I'm going to take my little triangle, all right? And this triangle will be helpful, I'm not going to lie. 2.75% becomes 0 0.0275. Again, 2.75%. Kick the decimal two places over, fill it in with a zero, and you're going to get 0 0.0275 times 20, okay? Just remember, if you're wondering, like, why is it always two places to the left to go from percent to decimal as you're dividing by 100? I had to say that. Okay, so now 0 0.0275 times 20, all right? And when I multiply those two numbers together, yeah, and that, guys, you can do that on the calculator. I'm not going to cry about it. You get 0.55. Okay, now this next one over here actually is kind of a mental one, right? Not that we're mental, but we we can kind of do it mentally. All right, what do I mean by that? 50% of 820, right? Well, we know this, if I do my little triangle, this is 0. 0.5 and this is 820. Then when I multiply these two together, 0. 0.5 times 820, I'm actually going to get 410. Now the mental way to do that. Just don't forget, 50% is one half. So I actually just take half the number. Half of 820 is 410. And lo and behold, there's your answer. Okay? I know, super excited. Okay, here, let me clean up this board a little bit. Sorry about that. You know me, I get a little messy. If you watch any of my videos, you know where I'm at with this. Okay, so here we go. Look at this next one. Okay, this next one. Why don't you pause the video and see if you can get that one yourself? Okay, welcome back. All right, so this answer is 0 0.028. And the way you would get that, just remember your percent is 0 0.004 times 7. So just remember 0.4%. Two places to the left gives me 0 0.004. And when I multiply those two together because they are side by side, I get 0 0.028. Okay, so you're probably thinking, okay, this, why well, should keep doing the same ones over and over, right? Because basically it was all multiplication. Well, it can change up. Remember what I said. If the numbers are top and bottom, you're going to divide those numbers. So the next question is asking you for the percent. So the percent is what the question is. 51 is the whole. 23 is the part. So if I take 23 divided by 51, okay, on my calculator, my handy-dandy calculator, right, I end up getting... 0.4509-ish, which you can always round to about 45.1%. Um,
Now you might be asking, okay, how did she go from one to the other? Okay, just remember 0.45098 can be rounded to 0.451. And then to go from a decimal to a percent, you multiply by 100. Okay, and that decimal goes two places to the right. We yeah, use a different color there, right? So that becomes 45.1%. Okay, and like I always say, why don't you pause the video and see if you can get the next one. Okay, so welcome back. I hope you got 66.7%. You might be saying, okay, yeah, I got that, or maybe you didn't. So basically think about it like this. 28 is the part. 42 is the whole. You take 28 divided by 42, and you actually get 0.6666666, and it just keeps going, right? So I can become 66.7%. Because again, you're going from a decimal to a percent, multiply by 100, move the decimal two places to the right. If you forget that, that's what's happening here. Okay, now let's check this guy out. 23 is 8% of what number, right? Well, let's talk about this. 8%, now that's the percent. I'm going to write it as a decimal. We're trying to figure out like 8% of what number. That's the part. I mean, that's the whole. 23 is the part. Okay, because 23 is like with us the part that is of the whole. Okay, now you have to actually divide these two because remember what I said earlier. If the numbers are top and bottom, you divide. So you take 23 divided by 0 0.08. And you probably can use a calculator. So you can 287.5 is your answer. If you can't use a calculator, you might want to go back and watch my video on how to divide decimals, okay? So basically, you take the 23, and it goes inside, put a decimal behind it, move it two places to the, on the outside, you got to move it two places on the inside, okay? Now you take an 8 into 23, and then when you do the math, you will get 287.5. But like I said, if that's a little fuzzy to you and you can't use a calculator, you might want to check out the other video I have. Okay, 